As tonight progresses, the search for missing persons becomes more intense as we move farther away from Hurricane Helene. The death toll has now skyrocketed above 200, more than a fifth of the fatalities in Buncombe County, North Carolina, and home to the city of Asheville. You can find Skylar Henry there. She broke the news of the tragic loss to the mayor of the city. We are still in a crisis mode. We are still in the search and rescue mode. Everything is still in a state of turmoil. Our focus remains on finding and rescuing individuals. There are people that died in the storm that lived in homes in areas that had never before experienced flooding. So when you're thinking about, you know, do I need to evacuate? There were a lot of people that thought, well, I'm probably fine where I am. With the death toll rising in Asheville, North Carolina, the search for the missing continues six days after the disaster. There are persons that died in the storm that lived in homes in locations that had never before experienced flooding. Uh, and it's going to take a long time and a sustained effort to rebuild our community in Western North till the end. FEMA has more than 1,500 workers on the ground in the Southeast providing supplies. The president has deployed 1,000 soldiers to help, and there are many volunteers. There are people saying how many people they have, what kids they have, what ages they are, and so then they come and box them up. So it's really just like a little food store. We are in the Shiloh area here in Asheville at one of the distribution locations where the community is coming together to provide all types of supplies. Here, you see the essential water, food supplies. There's even dog food down here to try to make sure that everyone and even all the pets have everything that they need. How bad is, how bad is it where y'all are? Well, we still don't have no lights or water, but it's a blessing for the help. Come on. Do you see how the community come together? We're a strong community and we're being put to a test, but I think we're rising to that challenge. The mayor also told me today that even some of the newer structures that were built above the flood stage flooded anyhow. And as the city begins to think about the rebuilding process, Climate change needs to be a factor. This is Buzz Edge National Report.